Hi, this is Dr. Mark Pitstick at SoulProof.com, and we're talking about near-death experiences, NDEs. Again, tens of thousands of documented NDEs, documented by top university researchers, physicians of all types. We talked about there are so many of these experiences, they're called tennis shoe stories collectively. Sometimes a person's consciousness, while their body is dead, their eyes are closed, they're in an intensive care unit, will hover around the hospital and see a car wreck occur nearby. And upon successful resuscitation, will accurately describe all the particulars of the car wreck, colors of the cars, who is going in what direction. They tell this story upon being awakened, so they couldn't learn it from anybody else. There are no other explanations for this, except that a consciousness continues beyond physical death, beyond the body, not tied to the body. <clears throat> Now, what are really impressive is when blind people have near-death experiences. So these are people, some blind from birth, but all who have been investigated legally blind. Doctors Ken Ring and Sharon Cooper in the book Mindsight describe several of these. One woman who was legally blind had a near-death experience and could describe the color of the sheets, the color of the ambu bag they were using to resuscitate her, how many people were around her, what family members were down the hall accurately described many details that she could only know if indeed she has this awareness that was outside her body. Pediatric descriptions of <clears throat> excuse me, near-death experiences are also very profound. Now these little children can't be making this up. For example, Melvin Morris, uh, renowned NDE pediatric researcher, describes a little boy named Mark who had almost died when he was nine months old. That's when he had his NDE, but he couldn't describe it until later. At age three, he and his family went to a Christmas pageant, and on the way home, he started telling his parents, God didn't look like that man in the play. And they, they asked him, what do you mean? He said, you know, when I almost died when I was little, and I flew out of my body, and I went down to this room, and you and Daddy and Grandma and Grandpa were sitting there crying. <clears throat> I think you thought I was going to die, he said, but then I went up into the air, and I started crawling through this tunnel. Well, how else would a three-year-old you know, get to the light except crawling through the tunnel? He said he visited God, and they ran in the fields together. I'm getting teared up talking about this, by the way, because it's such impressive evidence that our heart's greatest wish is true and there is much more to life than this and life does make sense because let's face it life is tough for a lot a lot of people a lot of suffering mark went ahead to describe that to say that in heaven you can double jump whatever that means and they had tracked him in the in the latest writing when he was a teenager he's very happy great grades no drug use uh, totally um, acclimated child above normal in every way so here's this little nine-year-old boy having this near-death experience that he describes when he's three years old. Wonderful evidence. Another aspect of, of near-death experiences is called empathetic near-death experiences. This would be what people around the dying person experience sometimes. Well, the first I read about was by Joan Barasenko, and we'll talk about that in the next tape. But for now, near-death experiences. Keep your eyes and ears open. You'll be reading about them. You'll be hearing about them. Let this information enlighten you, fill you with hope, and thank you for sharing this information with others. Be sure to visit our website, soulproof.com. Sign up for the free email newsletter and learn much more about this.